The following report contains some disturbing images. Hamza Khan was starved to death by his own mother, the one person whose instinct should have been to love and protect. But instead, Amanda Hutton's instinct was to drink a bottle of vodka a day and leave her son's lifeless body in a cot for 21 months. For the first time, we can show pictures of the place Hamza called home, a living room ankle deep in rubbish. In this squalor, the four-year-old wasted away. Today, detectives said it was one of the worst cases of neglect they'd ever seen. Hamza was found in, in the most appalling of, of uh, circumstances. The house was squalid and the conditions for that child in that home were just terrible. Amanda Hutton neglected six of her eight children. One told the jury she drank more vodka than water, while Hamza went without. Did you see Hamza? What did he look like? He was pale and, you know, this year was, it was very, very weak for, for this age. Mumtaz Mazar was one of the last people to see Hamza alive. And I always used to say to, like, my family, there's, there's something wrong with that woman, there's something wrong with that woman. Do you wish you'd done something oh, now? I wish I did, I did, yeah. It was this PC who did do something. At the time, a new recruit on her first assignment. At first, Amanda Hutton refused to let her see all of this. But then the door to the hallway finally opened. You know, the matted hair, the look of fear on her face, the look like she was trying to stop herself from being sick, she couldn't stand up, the flies coming off her clothes, the smell. I was thinking, is there someone died in there? This was Amanda Hutton after her arrest, still drunk. She later told police Hamza starved himself. She said she didn't ask for help because she had a fear of doctors. After Hamza died, Amanda Hutton said she panicked and went completely numb. But instead of asking for help, she stopped her eldest son from ringing an ambulance. She then ordered a takeaway pizza and placed Hamza's body into a travel cot. Hamza's short life was surrounded by chaos. Between 2005 and 2009, police were called to his home eight times for domestic violence. For years, health visitors were repeatedly turned away. Hamza never saw a GP, and two meetings were held by social services, police and health workers to discuss the risk the child faced. When the four-year-old's body was found, he was so malnourished, he was wearing this maggot-infested baby grow made for a six-month-old infant. Why did nobody see the full picture? Why did nobody see that the risks had changed? And why was there no effective action to be taken? This was a case of chronic neglect. But in the end, Hamza's misfortune was having a mother more concerned with feeding her alcohol addiction than her own son.